ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey tea sippers, good afternoon. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I wanted to come on here and spill some more tea, give y'all some more updates on the whole Will Smith and Chris Rock situation. So if you guys do not know, OJ Simpson was out here yesterday giving his commentary on the situation. And basically, we all know that he's been the butt of jokes for years. Many of comedians have roasted the hell out of OJ Simpson. So he feels like he can, you know, low-key relate to what, you know, Will Smith is going through. But he also feels like you can't go around slapping people. And like I said on the green room, are you sure you're talking about slapping OJ and not stabbing? I'm just saying. So y'all yeah, go ahead and check out this video of comedians, you know, kind of roasting OJ. And this is OJ's response to the whole Will Smith debacle, a.k.a. Slapgate. Check this out. I, I, I think Will was wrong. Uh, look, I understood the feeling now. Uh, in my life, I've been through a lot of crap, and I was raising two young kids, and every comedian in the country had an OJ routine, and don't think I wouldn't want to be slapped a couple of those guys, but you got to accept it's, it's humor, and I didn't even think that was all that egregious. I thought it was a semi-unfunny joke, but I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. I know this. After what happened to me in Las Vegas? If I would have done that in front of a billion people watching around the world, they would have given me life without. I'm just saying, hey, take care. All right, so y'all just saw what OJ had to say. You know, I told y'all years ago, this man done got out of jail and turned into a commentary chatty patty, honey. He's going to state his opinion on any viral story. Just wait for it. OJ going to have something to say. But I do agree with them, you know. As angry as you may get, as upset as you may get, you don't have the right to stab. I mean, to, to slap. Sorry, sorry. To slap anyone, okay? So now moving on to other news. If you guys do not know, the messy ass media, they don't put up to Will Smith's mama house. Yes, Miss Carolyn Smith. Okay, is laid up in the suburbs of Philadelphia trying to mind her business. And the media pulled up and came to her home to interview her about her son. I'm like, what the hell is this? Bel Air Academy? Why are they calling his mother like this is the Fresh Prince and he's still in high school? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Who the hell goes to talk to somebody's mother about their actions when the person's actions came from that of a 52-year-old man? He's a grown man. Y'all don't gotta go visit his mama. But either way, she opened the door and she let the media in honey she wanted the media to know how she felt about the situation so y'all go ahead and check this out will smith's mother is speaking out about the oscar attack and fallout that's followed carolyn smith spoke exclusively to our philadelphia sister station wpvi she says watching her son finally win an oscar filled her with pride but the now infamous confrontation that preceded it surprised even her that's the first time i've ever seen him go off the first time in his lifetime. Yeah. It surprised, so, it surprised yes, you too. Yes, huh? it did. It did. As I said, I've never seen him do that. He was like, oh, I wish I was in, you know, such and such shoes and oh, those are my goals and everything. It's like, but you really don't know what it takes to get there. And I've had conversations with him and it's like, it really kind of broke my heart listening to the things that he said that he had to go through. While the world has varying opinions, there's no controversy in the Smith family. They're proud of the actor and say they're confident he will make the right moves going forward. All right, so y'all just watched that video. Child, Sherry Williams, you know you messy for that one. She said she about to get this exclusive while y'all trying to find Chris Rock and, you know, hit up Will Smith and Jada for comment. I'm going to the mama house, okay? So she went, kudos to that sister, she got that interview. And so, you know, Will Smith's mom basically said that, you know, she was shocked you know will has never been an aggressor she wasn't expecting that so not only was the world shocked and not only was you know uh chris rock's you know right cheek shocked but she too was shocked by will smith's display of not being able to control his emotions so that whole situation is crazy so now i want to go ahead and segue to let you guys know about tony rock okay um we couldn't find chris yesterday right but we found the next best thing. Twitter found Tony Rock. Tony Rock is Chris Rock's brother. 
He's been in a lot of movies. He's a comedian as well. And basically, he took to Twitter to respond to a lot of questions that people had for him. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you what was stated on Twitter and his responses. So somebody says, do you approve of the apology? Tony says, no. Then somebody proceeds to ask Tony, who do you think hits harder, Will or Jada's boyfriend? He replies back by saying, Mama Rock. Meaning their mother hits a lot harder. Then someone else says, are we fighting fire with fire or are we going the professional route? Tony Rock says, it's on, bro. You know what I'm saying? And on, bro, it's on, bro. And hood speak means when I see you, it's on sight. Period, poo. So per the words of Tony Rock, honey, he wants that smoke from Will Smith. The next person says, more importantly, how is Chris Rock and would he checkmate on his comedy tour? Tony replies back and he says, still rich. Somebody else says at Tony Rock, that wasn't real, right? Keep it a buck. Tony Rock says fake for what? So basically confirming it was a real slap, a real situation. So the next person says, at Tony Rock, so Diddy was lying when he said Chris and Will made up that night and are good now? Tony replied back and said, yup, meaning like I've been saying from day one when this first broke out, Diddy is an attention seeking liar. The man's an attention whore. He cannot help but to insert himself into shit that has nothing to do with him. The reason why he was so involved in this situation, one, because he was on the Oscar stage presenting, but he's also trying to deflect and get everybody's attention after the whole Mace situation and the whole Mace diss track. Because he had no business going to his car and just spinning lies and, you know, spinning lies to page six and acting like everything's all good behind the scenes. When Chris Rock's blood brother is saying, no, they're not good. They have not talked to him. What the fuck are you talking about, Diddy? <laughs> Basically, in so many words. So now the next person says, you and Dwayne Martin still friends? If so, must be a tough place for you to be in. Tony Rock says, nah, for him. Basically meaning I'm cool. If it's tough, it's tough for Dwayne Martin. You know, Dwayne Martin and, you know, uh, Will Smith are very close. They're very, very good friends. So that's why, you know, it might be tough for Dwayne. You know what I mean? Just saying. So now the next person says, was you at the Oscars? Tony Rock says, hell no. Meaning, if he was there, he probably would have ran up on stage. And, you know what I'm saying, Probably punch Will Smith as well because Will Smith just disrespected his brother. And y'all couldn't get mad if he did that because, again, y'all are co-signing Will running up there, you know what I'm saying, protecting his wife's honor. Tony Rock would have had all rights to run up there and protect his brother's honor. Just saying. So now the next person says, Tony Rock, replace your brother with Jerry Seinfeld on the stage that night. Would the narrative be the same or would Will be locked up by the LAPD? Tony Rock says, you know, basically insinuating that if Will Smith had assaulted a white man, he definitely would be locked up. He'd be in jail. He'd have been arrested and pulled off the stage by LAPD. So now the next person says, at Tony Rock, should the Oscar be taken back? Did Chris get it for his remarkable composure during a live assault? Tony Rock replies and he says, not my call. Then the next person says, at Tony Rock, Given you worked with the Smiths for some years on All of Us and Will never did something like this in the decades of him being in public, if he speaks directly to Chris and the Rock family, are you open? Tony replies back and he says, waiting. Meaning, like I said in my live stream the other day, Will Smith has not reached out to Chris Rock or their family directly. He put that apology out there for the public. And he did that after the Oscars were basically meeting to decide the fate of his statue. You know, if he's going to keep the statue or if they're going to take it from him. So Tony is saying that they're still waiting for that personal phone call or that personal apology. So now the last person says, what are you going to do to Will? And Tony says, respond. Then to end everything, Tony Rock says this. Be sure to watch Good Hair, since the narrative is now changed to all my brother does is disrespect women of color. So that is how he ended the conversation on Twitter. So a lot of his comments were short, sweet, and straight to the point. And I like that. You know, at the end of the day, he's trying to hold it down for his brother. 
and things like that. But I just think the whole situation is really sad that it's gotten to this point, you know, between the two families because they've known each other for years. They've been very cool. Now, yesterday, August Alsina also came out and spoke on the situation. I'm not even going to address it because I don't know if August Alsina is high as hell, but he literally makes no sense. He literally talks and types in hieroglyphics. I mean, this is a man who has sang some of my favorite songs. Now I'm starting to question, did he even write these songs? Because it doesn't even seem like he knows how to write proper English on social media. So I'm going to show y'all what he wrote. I'm not trying to read it or decipher it because it's bullshit. Y'all, so y'all just tried to decipher what the hell he wrote. Now, after that, August decided to post a video of Tyler Perry with a gun. Peace was still. Peace, peace is made of steel. And this is what August said. He said, for those of them in the back that like to solve algebra equations and Morse code, Jesus is a peacemaker. So sit still, bull. LOL, I, right, I'm done trolling. Love y'all. I was able to kind of decipher that basically bull, as we all know, that's the word that they use in Philly. They call like little young boys, young bulls, older gentlemen, they call them old bulls. And so he's basically calling Will Smith the bull because he's from Philly. And he's saying basically this gun is his peacemaker. And if you want, you will go and meet your maker, Jesus, if you try him. So that's what he's basically saying in all this damn Morse code that he's writing all these capitals and lower cases. August is just doing too much. I find it very interesting that he's still trolling and still clowning. Meanwhile, Will Smith then lost his emotional control to Chris Rock. But the person who was smashing your wife is out here still trolling y'all. So that situation's a mess. So now let me go ahead and segue on to this. If you guys do not know, Chris Rock was spotted earlier today for the first time since the slap heard around the world, a.k.a. Slapgate. So right now he's in Boston. He's preparing for a big comedy show. Now, what I find very interesting about this, let me keep it real before I even show y'all his pictures and all that stuff. Now, what I find interesting is this, even though Tony's saying that this isn't fake, something about this entire situation comes off to me as low key esoterical. And that's just me keeping it real. What I found very interesting is if you go back and you watch Will and Jada's pre Grammy recording, and they're speaking about bringing on chaos and saying that you shouldn't invite somebody from Philly or Baltimore. They're speaking about getting all dressed up to choose chaos and even saying that you can't invite people from Philly or Baltimore nowhere. So I'm going to play out this clip really quick. This was right before the Oscars, before any of this viral stuff. Check this out. Good morning, everyone. God has let me live another day and I am about to make it everyone's problem. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw that. So clearly their antics before the show damn sure didn't age well because of what ended up taking place. But now what I find even more interesting, and I just realized this today, because I knew that Chris Rock was getting ready to do his comedy tour. Now he hasn't done a comedy tour in five years. So now what I find very interesting is this. Chris Rock has not had a comedy show in five years. It's been five years since his last comedy tour. And so it was announced back in February, that who's going to start his comedy tour. Now, what I found very interesting, I just learned this today. The name of his comedy tour is called Ego Death. Ego Death. Like, how ironic that that's the name of the tour, which he was talking about back in February, and now the tour is set to start this Friday. That is why he's in Boston right now. I looked up some of the Boston tickets because the tickets are like being sold out all over the country like hotcakes. First date of the tour is in Boston and it is today. It's supposed to start around 7 p.m. Um, so he arrived in Boston late last night. 
to prepare for the tour. Right now, I've seen tickets for that tour as high as $1,000 a seat. Um, and they're all selling out. I think this one, this particular uh, tour is now sold out. But in certain cities, they've been jacking up the price. A lot of the tickets, you know, they're supposed to start about $125 on up. I seen them as high as a thousand bucks. So I just find this very interesting that that's the name of the tour because whatever ego he may have had, it definitely died that day on the damn stage via Will Smith's hand, you know, like just slapping him down like that, like a little boy and emasculating him. That would definitely, you know what I'm saying? Kill your ego. So it's going to be very interesting to say, so it's going to be very interesting to see what comes from this comedy tour tonight? You know, what's going to be posted online? What is he going to say? What is he going to talk about? Because that's why people want to go rush and buy the tickets because they want to be there to hear what he has to say about the slap heard around the world. And so here go the pictures of Chris Rock. Um, he's rocking some neon Yeezys and, you know, he just has his head down. He looks like he's a shell of himself. I'm starting to think this might have been a Chris Rock humiliation ritual and not so much a Will Smith. But um, they try to ask some questions, and he basically just ignored the paparazzi. So go ahead and check this out. Hey, can I ask you a couple questions? Yeah. Is that a yeah or no? No? Uh, All right, so you guys just saw that. Um, so the whole situation is just very interesting how this is playing out. Now, on top of this, the Oscars are now meeting because they're feeling a lot of pressure. See, Sunday night, everything was cool. But like I told you, it's going to be more stuff coming down the pipeline. So now the Academy is feeling all of this pressure. And they're saying that they're outraged by Will Smith's behavior. And that they're looking to take action. So this is what's being reported as of today by CNN. CNN says the Academy of Motion Pictures and Sciences told members its leaders were upset and outraged by Will Smith's behavior during the Oscars. In a letter obtained by CNN hours before a key meeting on Smith's future, the letter from the Academy president, David Rubin, and CEO Don Hudson says the group is working on a determination on appropriate actions for Smith, which could take a few weeks. Smith has come under fire for storming on stage during Sunday night's Academy Awards and slapping presenter Chris Rock after he made a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. The letter says the process will be conducted in a manner that is both expedient and respectful to all involved while maintaining the standards of the Academy. So that is what's being stated right now around the industry to see what the Academy ends up doing. Now, like I said on the groom yesterday, do I feel like he should get his award taken from him? Personally, I don't because there's been too many problematic people that the Academy has still supported, stood behind and allowed them to keep their credits, their awards and their just dues because they have always looked at it like, well, the personal life is separate from their acting and movie life. I think, you know, the same should go for Will Smith, even though he was all the way wrong and he did bring his real life onto the Oscar stage. I just think that it would cause even more drama and controversy if they take his Oscar from him. So, like I said, the entire situation is interesting. This is going to be talked about for weeks to come, but I want to update you guys on the latest. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on everything. What do you guys feel about OJ, you know, coming out and speaking on this? How do you guys feel about the news going to Will Smith's mama house, honey, and interviewing her? How do you guys feel about what Tony Rock had to say? How do you guys feel about Chris Rock being spotted? And last but not least, how do you guys feel about the Academy now stating that they're going to take some type of action towards Will Smith? What that action will be, I have no idea. But let's go ahead and talk about it. Make sure that you're still subscribed to this channel, honey, because you know they love to unsubscribe people. Also, don't forget to share the video. Make sure to thumbs up and like it as well. So thank you guys for the support, and I will talk to you guys later. Deuces.